Hello, and this is uh, part one of a series of tutorials on how to use Smart Notebook 11.4. So to get started, um, when you launch um, Smart Notebook, this is the screen that you're going to see. So right now we have a blank page. You can see it right here. And right here, you can see this icon shows that we are looking at our pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through the tabs and then across the toolbar and explain each icon. So right here we have pages and if I click down to the little picture frame that is the gallery. Now the gallery has as you can see over 5,000 images and several hundred interactive multimedia and notebook files um, to go through. So there's certainly a lot um, to explore. So if I want to find something in Gallery Essentials, there's a couple of ways to do it. One, I can always go up here and just type the name of what I'm looking for in my search bar. So I'm just going to like type in the word dog, something simple. And what you see, you don't actually see a, a picture of a dog populate down here. Instead, these are like folders. So if you think of them in that respect, because it can get a little confusing when you're looking down here. Um, they have related folders. They have pictures, and it shows that there are 16 pictures related to the word dog. And there are also two interactive uh, multimedia files. So what do we mean by all this? Well, if I click on pictures, click on the drop down, I can scroll down and I can look at all of the pictures that are associated with the word dog. Now obviously Prairie Dog is here because the word dog appears um, in the title of that particular image. So if there's something that I want, all I have to do is click and drag it out onto the screen with my mouse. Or if I was actually at the board, I can use my finger to just simply tap on the image and drag it out onto the page. So very simple and easy. So now I'm going to go back into gallery and let's take a look at that interactive multimedia. Now what I like to do is I like to go back up to the top and actually close the folder. It just makes it so much easier to navigate and look through all of the images. Now I'm going to click here on the drop down and here interactive multimedia. Well, what you see here is you see the same dog that I have here except it has sound. So this is our little speaker and that's universal, universal for sound. If I click on it, you can hear it bark. Okay. Very simple. So you can either look through your folders that way. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to start a new page. So I'm going to go up to my toolbar and I'm going to click right here where it says add page. Just so everything is nice and neat. And now I'm going to go up to Gallery Essentials. If I click on this folder, you can see that it, I have now everything in subcategories. So I have Arts, Geography, History, Mathematics. So you can certainly go through these. Like, for instance, let's take a look at what's Science. I'm going to click on the Science folder and you can see now it breaks it down even further. So now I have chemistry, earth science, physics, biology, click on biology, and once again it continues you know to categorize and break them down into various folders. So sometimes when you do a search maybe what you think an image would be called or the name of the image isn't actually what Smart Notebook calls it. So you do sometimes have to go through your gallery and search through the various subjects to actually find the image that you're looking for. So this is just another way of going about and searching through to see what's available in the gallery. Now, 
There's a couple of other things. They, um, there's the Lesson Activity Toolkit. I absolutely love this folder and I use it a lot. Um, this is where I get a lot of my um, really fun interactive um, interactive multimedias that the students really enjoy. So um, it would certainly be wise um, when you have time to go to this folder and click on the interactive multimedia and just kind of peruse through here and pull some activities out and edit them and play around with them. Um, I'm going to do that in another tutorial um, for you to uh, look at, but it's just nice to know that they're here. So a couple of other things. Um, let me just close this folder. Um, if I go to the paper clip, that's our universal sign for an attachment. So if I wanted to, I could insert a hyperlink or a file from my computer and it would be directly right here in my smart notebook. So it's just another option um, and another way to um, kind of uh, collaborate and merge multiple programs together so that you don't necessarily have to minimize and go into Microsoft Word if you want to show a document. Um, instead you can just embed it right into the Smart Notebook. Now I'm going to click on the next tab, it's the Properties tab. And this is where we get to customize and add a colored background um, by simply clicking on the various colors here. Um, I could do a fill effect if I wanted to. I could do a page recording, which we're going to save that for another recording, another tutorial. Uh, but this is your properties, and we will be using this a lot. And the next one is the activity builder. Again, I'm saving this for another tutorial. Great activity though, it's a lot of fun to use and it's pretty uh, uh, new to Smart Notebook. So, going back up to pay, um, the page and going across our toolbar up here, here we have Add a Page, for which you just saw me add a page before. I can also delete a page. So, if I wanted to delete page 2, I just simply click on Delete Page and it goes away. I can then go ahead and add another page if I wanted to. Um, this is our undo, this is redo, and this is simply to open a file that you may already have um, that you've created in the Sprint Notebook. This is our save. This is our view screen. So our view screen is what we would actually use if we were to display our activity to the class. Right now you are in edit mode because you can see the bar here in your pages, but if I was to actually use this in my class, I would simply click on view screen and go to a full screen. And now you don't see that toolbar over here. So I'm going to go back though into edit mode so that you can see the rest of the toolbars. Here is our copy and paste, our delete. This is our camera feature. I absolutely love this one also. We will be using this in the next tutorial. Um, we have a shade, which is another one that we're going to be using in the next tutorial. We can create tables just like we would in Word. If you're familiar with that, you can easily make a table. I'm going to, un well, I'll leave that part. It's no big deal to keep it there. We have some math uh, tools that you may want to use. We have rulers and there's a compass um, that you can use so you can play around with these. These are the only tools that you get with the Smart Notebook um, for math, but um, there is an add-on that you can purchase for the Smart Notebook um, if you wanted more math tools. But this is what you get um, with the standard 11.4 version of the notebook. Um, over here in this um, Oh, and I'm leaving out this one. I'm sorry. This is the Smart Exchange. We're going to go into that, and that will be one of our very last tutorials. Um, this is um, will bring you to a website uh, with a compilation of various um, smart notebook activities that have already been made by teachers that um, are put onto a website, it's like a repository that you can um, simply download 
uh, various lessons and then tweak them um, to custom to customize so that it meets your needs and your your students needs um, let's go to this toolbar and here we have um, various pens okay so I'm going to click here and you can see we can make it look like a crayon Write a little message to you hello Remember, I can also be doing this with my finger if I was actually at the board, but I'm on a computer. I can click here and I can go back to pen. I can go to highlighter and I can highlight. I can also, by the way, I can pick the color highlighter that I want. I can go pink if I want to, or I can go green. And we'll get into the other creative pen, the magic pen, and the shape recognition pen in the next in another tutorial, not the next one. So to get out of this function, I'm just simply going to click on this little arrow. This little arrow gets you out of any function that you may be in. Sometimes you know you're in something and you're like, why is the smart notebook doing um, a particular? Uh, function that you didn't expect it to do or want it to do. Um, when in doubt, just go up to this arrow and it will get you out of whatever you were in that you didn't really mean to be in. Um, moving forward, I'm going to just simply create another screen here. These are just various shapes. Same thing, you can find these in Word. You can find it in um, PowerPoint. So th there's nothing really new here. Um, you probably are actually familiar with many of these. Um, these are just additional shapes. Okay, and I'm just clicking and dragging so I can make them as big or as small as I want them to be. Again, to get out of this function, I'm just simply going to click here. Um, these are just lines that I can draw. Again, these are just features that you can find in Microsoft Word, so you may already be familiar with them. I'm just clicking on various ones so that you can see them. Pretty straightforward. Okay. And now I'm going to click out. This is my eraser. This just is the various widths of my eraser. So if I wanted to erase something, you just go back into my pen. All right. Hi. And I'll click on my eraser. And I could just simply erase it. The one thing I can't do is I cannot erase the images that I put up here. I can only erase something that was written with a pen. Once it's converted to an image such as this, it cannot be erased. But don't think that it can't be deleted. It can be. If I want to delete it, now I just clicked over here to get rid of the eraser. But if I click on the image here and I go to the drop down box and click delete, I can make it go away. So you can delete it, but it's nice to know that your students just can't pick up the eraser from the board and just erase anything um, on the board. These things are semi permanent until you click on the actual item and then click on the drop box and delete it. Um, and last but not least, if I click on this image and I click on the paint can, I can add color to various images. Pretty straightforward and I'm going to click out of this. Um, we will spend a lot more time um, in this section in another tutorial. Um, but this at least gets you a little familiar with the tabs as well as the toolbar.